Hi there. Hey. Keep eating, don't worry. <laughs> yeah. We're going to we're going to eat and drink and and take care of our bodily needs. Mm -hmm. uh, AJ. I just taught a here. class, so yes. I have an excuse. I'm hungry. I'm hangry. You're you're <laughs> looking a little uh, perspirational too. Inspirational, I, I meant to say inspirational. Inspirational and perspirational, it's all Very right. Good. So, as you can tell, I am not cat. You know? I'm cat plus. There you go. There you go. Doppelganger. There you go. <laughs> cat 2.0, there you go. <laughs> cat 2.0, that's right. <laughs> So we're here to uh, spend the day this morning uh, with each other and find out a little bit more about our superstar right here to my immediate right. What is superstar Ms. today? AJ Mason. <laughs> nice to have you. As you. many of you probably don't know, AJ is short for George, uh, which is her it's real name. True story. And uh, it's true. It's your, your dad really wanted a son. I it's understand. Actually, that's actually that was true. Okay. I was supposed to be a boy. Oh. I, that's what they thought right. when I was in their belly. So my name was supposed to be Aaron James. Seriously? Because they wanted to AJ. Okay. Obviously, I didn't come out a boy. I was a little surprised. So what are you now? Ariana. Audra Jean. Oh, I thought it was Ariana. Oh, no, yeah. Ariana Juanita. <laughs> so they're like, oh, I still want an AJ. So I'm Audra Jean, but I've been Audra forever Jean. called AJ because that's what they wanted. That's cool. Yeah. That's so, a cool story. Yeah. Where were you born? I was born in Oceanside in Camp Pendleton. Oh, really? Yeah, I was Father's a Marine. Father's a brat. Marine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Marine for 32 years. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's so great. he retired up in Temecula. Okay. Um, but yeah, so I traveled a lot. You did? I did. A tell, lot. Uh, tell us a few places. Mm, I, I moved 13 times in like 20 years. Um, sorry, thank you. Um, I lived in Twenty-nine Palms, one of the most glorious places in the world. That is phenomenal. Yeah. It's, Although I've only seen 27 amazing. of the palms. Only, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> they're still not that can't great. find the other two. <laughs> <laughs> they've, they've been long gone. Okay. Um, but 29 Palms, I went there a few times. But um, I lived in Arizona. I lived in Chicago. Oh. I okay. lived in um, Malaysia. My dad did uh, embassy duties, so I got to live in Malaysia for a year oh, and a half. It was really nice. cool. I got to live in Uruguay for a year and a half. Uh, my Spanish is still not very good. <laughs> and then... Um, I moved to San Diego, but I've moved back to Twin Anne Palms a lot. So it was like, let's go here, somewhere really, really nice and back to Twin Anne Palms. Somewhere, somewhere really, really nice and back to Twin Anne Palms. So I moved to Twin Anne Palms four different times. That's how you build appreciation for things. Right? Is find yeah. something really horrible yeah. to compare it with. Exactly. Yeah. I used so, to do that when I would date. When you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's a good Just philosophy. find a really bad relationship. And then the mediocre one seems like, this yeah, is awesome. Right? You're like, this is way better. <laughs> this is so much Set better. Set that standard like right here. Exactly. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I moved to San Diego um, when I graduated high school. I moved to Palm Springs for a little bit. And then uh, I moved to San Diego my second year of college and never looked back. Okay. <laughs> You'll excuse us because we each have taught this morning and so there's a hydration issue going on. <laughs> hydration and a perspiration issue going on today. <laughs> I didn't even bother showering. I just changed my shirt because I knew it wouldn't take. <laughs> there's well, nothing I'm glad that I showered this morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's nothing and worse than <laughs> after a workout when you shower and you're in a hurry and then you get dressed and you find yourself sweating as oh, much I, I, as when actually, you're working out. Actually, I'm going through that right now. I thought, oh, I shouldn't. I don't want you know, stink in front oh, of Mike. No. So, oh, well, sorry. I appreciate it. I love gym smells. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So tell, tell, tell us a little bit about yourself in terms of uh, after high school. What, what was your goal? What, was your, what, what were you thinking your path was compared to where you are? Or are you on the exact path? I am not, which okay. is very common, okay. right? Yes. yes. <laughs> so I thought I was going to be the coolest park ranger in the entire world. Oh. And that's all I wanted. I wanted to be a park ranger in National Park. That was my lifelong goal since I was in like third grade. <laughs> I love National Parks. It's one of my f favorite things to do, um, travel. So I went to school for environmental studies and uh, park and recreation. And obviously I'm not there. <laughs> um, why, uh, well, you got the recreation right? part. I got the recreation part, yeah, exactly. Um, while I was in college, I was working on, on base as a lifeguard on the Marine Corps base okay. uh, in uh, Miramar. And I needed a winter job and they offered me a job at the gym. And I said, okay, I could do my homework at the gym. And then it just turned into, hey, would you like to be a trainer now? And I was like, oh, I don't know, I guess so. I mean, <laughs> I can get paid more, that's cool. So they uh, trained me to be a trainer and then it was like, hey, would you like to be a, a group instructor? Oh, okay, that's cool. <laughs> so I started with that and, um, and then I just kind of fell in love with it and I just got more and more certified and all of a sudden, my path went from environmental studies to right. fitness, and I never looked back. Well, that's great. So, that's, a, yeah. that's a good story. Yeah, so but I still like coincidentally, parks. speaking of uh, park ranger, um, 
There's an organization I belong to. I'm certified as an instructor for the National Association of Interpretation, oh, which nice. works through the National Park yeah. Service. And so we train people how to be interpretive hosts and then interpretive oh, guides neat. and how to tell stories in the park. Yeah. So I just spent a, a month up in Muir Woods. Oh, that's one of my favorite places. Oh, it's pretty. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like it's a fairy nice. tale. So it's kind of sp- you ever been there? It's really nice. Cool. We were just up in the Redwood area. I um, did a vacation with my, a road trip with my kids, and we drove through the Redwoods just because we, I could have flown to Seattle. We went to Alaska Cruise, and I, I, my kids uh, never seen the Redwoods, and that's one of right. my favorite places in the world, so I made a road trip. Right. And we got to drive through the tree, do all so that stuff. So here's a little <laughs> back-of-the-house story for how one does an interview. Although we work at the same location, we don't spend a lot of time no. together. I'm seldom here, and you're always here. Yeah. That's not why I'm seldom here. This is though. my bed, actually. I'm okay, sleeping okay. on right now. <laughs> and so when you're interviewing someone, you hear her say, you know, and my kids said, and I'm realizing, I didn't know she had I kids. I do, I okay, do. Okay, so now that leads to the next question. Tell us about the darling kids. Oh, they're darling. Ages, I have boys, girls. Yeah, three kids. Okay. Uh, my boy, uh, my oldest is a boy. He's 15. Okay. Uh, my middle is a girl. And she's 13. And then my youngest is 10. He's a boy. Okay. So they are wonderful. They're all unique in their of own course. ways. Not a single one of them likes sports or fitness. Really? I know. Yeah. Maybe my well, but that could be good. That are yeah. they more academic? They are. Okay, uh, they're all in, They're all scouts. As opposed to grunge. Yeah. Because that wouldn't right. be us. <laughs> yeah. So they're all scouts. And then my son well, is in marching band. And... Um, He's a scout, and uh, and he's really into D and D, which I know nothing about. Okay. Um, it's Dungeons and Dragons for you that don't know. Um, <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> yeah, it would be you. Uh, yeah, I, it's interesting. I'm actually learning. Um, and then my daughter, she plays violin and um, wow. is in scouts. And then my my youngest is in scouts and uh, currently looking for a new activity to do. Okay. Yeah, but he's the only one that likes to work out with me. Oh, youngest. that's good. Yeah. Though. So, I got one. <laughs> Yeah, That's they're okay. fun. They're fun. Uh, you know, I have a daughter, and I was a USPTA tennis pro, and oh, nice. she doesn't play tennis. Okay. <laughs> I play the piano. She doesn't play the piano. Yep. And for those two things, my wife is furious at me. <laughs> like, how, how could you not let that happen? Yeah. Uh, you know, but she I, has her own skills and her exactly, own things that she's exactly. good at that, that yeah. I'm not and yeah. that I'm proud of her for. Yeah, I thought... Uh, you know, I envisioned when I had kids because I was really into sports. I was a, I was a jock all through since like I can pick up a ball. For bas- I love basketball and softball are my two favorite and volleyball. And I thought I was gonna be a coach. You know, right. like my dad used to do for me. He was my coach in little league, um, all the way through JV, um, assistant coach. And I thought I was gonna be that role. And uh, I know absolutely nothing about band because I'm not a musician and I know nothing about D&D, but I'm trying. (laughs) But scouts, I am very involved in. Well, I can tell you this uh, from the music side that it's so beneficial for so many kids. Kids who do well in music have a tendency to also do really well in math. Oh, and my, yeah, my son is a math. There you go. There you go. Yeah, and I love it. I, I always wanted to learn how to play an instrument. I tried. It just was not my forte. Like. Well, well, one doesn't have to actually play an instrument to be a musician. Oh, because okay. you basically are, in terms of the music you play. I, I feel the, like the, I'm a DJ every time I'm there. You are a musician. Yeah. And, and you, <laughs> you understand the nuance of tempo and timing and different yep. sounds mm-hmm. and, and how to pick music that for a different audience. Yeah. So, which basically is what musicians do. That's you very true. You perform to the audience. They don't come to listen to you. You play yeah. for them. Exactly. And you're also a coach. Yes. I don't know if you realize that, but you've attained the things that you didn't think yeah. you would. And I and it's so funny. Like, I love that's my favorite part of spinning. It's yeah, it's coaching through the music and right. and DJ AJ. Okay, what's effect. what's the worst part of, uh, of training? Of, of training. What's what's the downside? Because not 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 a negative, but just yeah. a struggle. Um, honestly, sometimes the biggest struggle is to keep myself motivated. Okay. Does that mean I always say yeah. motivators need to be motivated? Yeah. So I have a hard, sometimes, you know, when you're doing it for so long, you right. need to spend for so long, every couple of years I get in that motivation slump. Does yes. that make sense? Where I, it's, I have a hard, like, I'm like, oh man, or I feel like I'm not being creative enough, or just, it's just, I'm in a slump. Right. Everyone gets in a slump, right? Yeah. So that's what I find the hardest about teaching is, especially spin, is to keep the excitement of me doing, going through it. Does right. that make sense? Right. And, and th- what helps is, you know, Everybody that's in the class helps, and obviously, and stuff like that. But it's that, you know, sometimes motivators need motivation. And the way I get over that is usually every couple of years I'll go to either IDEA, which is a fitness event, right, or, or, right. And, or do, like, a new certification or something to kind of get me excited again. Yes. Does that make sense? Yeah. Or, no, I do. Yeah, I like every, every two years, and I get kind of made fun of, I'll take – 
I'll recertify myself in spinning by actually taking another spinning course instead of doing it instead online. Instead of doing it online? Yeah. And oh, I, okay. I, the reasons I find like that, too, is that, A, everything changes, right? Fitness changes constantly. And you, you might get an instructor who has this whole new kind of way, kind of a teach. You might even learn one thing. If I, right. if I can take away right. one thing, I'm like, yeah, I can't wait to use this in class. And, and so then I get excited again and, and um, my motivation comes back up and then I'm on my high. That's such a good again. point. I, I just recently took a class from a gentleman that I know when he was teaching a cycle class and I'd never taken his class. And <clears throat> if those of you that are maybe familiar with, you know, like my classes, I'm sort of OCD when it comes to tempo, yeah. like riding on the beat and riding on tempo. He played music that had nothing to do with <laughs> tempo. Yeah. <laughs> it was the first time I'd ever experienced it's that. It's hard when and you're used like, to it, huh? <laughs> well, and he would go from one song into the next, but still be doing the same routine. And the music would change, but he was like, okay, one minute hard, now one minute easy, now one minute hard. And you and so badly want to go on that beat, I, huh? I, I did, but what it taught me, like you're yeah. saying, is it said, oh, this is interesting. Yeah. There, there are obviously people out there that ride like that. Yeah. And maybe mm -hmm. I need to learn that. Yeah. Because you know? not everybody can ride on the beat. It's that comfort zone. I was talking it's to that, Mike about this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. You like well, sometimes, I, and I, what I like to do, too, is you trick people's minds. So not only are you working at your body, but if you can get them to think a different way, right. sometimes they'll work a little bit harder. Oh, yeah. Is that, you I'll, know what I mean? So no, you're like, totally. oh. Or I'm they're working harder, and they're all of a sudden they're like, I had no idea. And then they get done. Yeah. And right. Like, well, that was really well, hard. You're, let's, yeah. say, let's say you're riding on what perceived to be gear 11. Yeah. And I'll say, okay, I want you to add like three gears. Yeah. And then we'll ride for 20, 30 seconds. I'll say, okay, this is a little more than I thought I wanted. So let's ratchet it down a gear, mm -hmm. and they'll drop down to, let's say, 13. That's where I wanted you. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, oh, that's, that's where oh, I that's, wanted yeah. you. But gotcha. because I know if I say, let's go up to gear 13, nobody's going to go there. They're yeah. going to go to 12. Some people go to 13. But, they're in yeah. but if I get you over it and then give that's you the smart. opportunity See, to come back down day. a little bit, you're like, oh, okay, I like yeah. this much better. <laughs> yeah, but um, no, I just, honestly, there's not a whole lot I don't like about, and that's why I've been in this, I've been, I've been doing this for 14 years. That's great. And I love it. And there's always, like I said, fitness, there's always something new and there's always some, I love education. That's one of my favorite things. I, I went to school, um, I got my master's and I, um, I just Which recently. a lot of people don't know that. So maybe, oh. <laughs> you know. But yeah. it's an environmental studies of all things. Well, sustainable <laughs> management. But, it, it, but it's. Um, it's a mastery. It's a ma that's, whatever. That's yeah, I, I feel. I mean, Kat really collects smart people. People don't, you <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? Like a that's lot true. of us don't. <laughs> The comrades, just, they yeah. don't know. And then all of a sudden we say, like, our education, they're yeah. like, holy smokes. I love, what? yeah. I, I graduated high school. And? Um, and college. <laughs> and? <laughs> and, and? And? You're so smart. More, you know and it. More, and He's more smart. College. Right. He's and more super college. smart. <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit more college. But, but yeah, I, um, I have, wow, I think 13 certifications on Red Belt right now. That's incredible. Just because that's the best part of teaching. That is, is so great. They're not everyone knows everything. <laughs> Right. <laughs> and and, and, and in an industry, right? In an industry that constantly changes or has all these new trends, um, fitness is definitely in there. You gotta you gotta learn them all. That's so good. I, I love that attitude. It's sort yeah. of a you you should know something about everything. You fitness. do. You, gotta, you don't need to know everything. Yeah, a little everything. bit about everything. Right? Yeah, just something little, about yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah that's cool. That's really cool. <laughs> I know a little bit about that. <laughs> I know uh, normally we don't get to these questions first, but it's yeah. kind of relevant to what you're talking about right now, and I don't want to come back. It's just she's asking if you've been spinning for the 14 years. Uh, I started spinning about in 2007. Perry, I have to do the math. That would be do you see how years. tired I am? Hold on, we have Thank to ask you. Mike. Let's, let's reach out, let's reach out to your 15-year-old. Let's call your 15. Curtis, if you're watching. <laughs> no, I was kidding. <laughs> um, so, no. Yeah, so it was a couple years after I started training. Yeah. Um, I actually, I, I told this story to Kat. Spinning, I did not want to spin. I didn't think it was fun. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I was a runner. I taught my very first class that I used to teach was step. Okay. Yeah, because oh. I liked music. Wow. And yeah, I know. I was now a step instructor. Now there's my least favorite workout. <laughs> yeah, I was a step instructor. Uh, cool. I used to do, yeah, I know, like, I'm, I'm amazing. I did. I used to do step, and I used to do cardio kickboxing and butts and guts, which was, like, um, stability ball. And uh, we used right. stability balls and med balls. Um, and then they kept asking me, like, hey, we need su we need more spin instructors. I'm like, nope. And, like, we need more, nope. And then finally, like, uh, we're going to have to train, or you're going to, every single basically trainer on base has to be a spin instructor. I'm like, oh, you're getting me oh. now. It's, I knew it. And so I got, I, got it, I got certified. And through when I did the class, I was like, this is kind of fun. 
Right. Because I thought, right. you know, I'm like, this, I, I actually kind of, once I set up the bike right, you know, because, you know, it feels a little more comfortable. Um, I learned what you can do on the bike and how you can teach. I was like, you know, I could do this. So I started subbing and now it's my favorite class to teach. Isn't that funny? You know what I mean? Well, it was, but it was so resistant on it. <laughs> it's so good though, because you just walked through the psychology of what the students feel. Yeah. Like, right? I don't yeah. want to take this class, like, but oh, I know okay. I should. Yeah. And then yeah. it's, it's sort of a compelling reason, but you want to turn it into yeah. a desire, not exactly. just a compulsion. And um, I, I am known to be a little bit rebellious sometimes. So when people like really, really want me to do something, I tend to automatically like, no, I'm not going to do it. Really? You, you, <laughs> I don't, no, not at all. You somewhat, somewhat really. So, so you're basically saying you tend to somewhat live outside the box I don't, a Yeah, a little bit. bit. Yeah. Because really? you my can't tell always, from any yeah, aspect of, of my just husband the always overall says look. If he wants me to do something. He tells me not to do something. I'm like, well, I'm going to do it now. <laughs> so here's a serious question. Okay. Why are there blank spots on your body? Because <laughs> it costs a lot of money. Right? Oh, okay. I'm, I'm, I got that tattoo fun and then <laughs> it just keeps draining. <laughs> it's, it's slowly getting there. <laughs> um, See, you, you, you're the opposite of me. I just spent the last two weeks uh, going through some surgeries for skin cancer. Oh, okay. And each time I go to the doctor, I leave part of myself there. But this oh, time right? you go somewhere, you come back with more. More. I know. I know. It's on... Um, yeah. They're beautiful, by the Thank way. Thank you. They're Thank you. So th each I, one tells a story. It does tell they? a story. Um, Which is the first a, one? Where did you the, start? The first one I ever got. Well, wait. Well, let me ask. <laughs> There's so many Where's the first one that you can <laughs> show <laughs> yeah, okay. that we can talk about? So, so the, I know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we don't want to go there. No, just kidding. Uh, my, actually, my first one I got the day I turned 18. Okay. Because my parents were like, you'll never get a tattoo. I'm like, <laughs> watch me. <Right>. And so. <laughs> There's that rebellious. <laughs> my parents love me so much. I love you, Mom and Dad. Um, they love them now. They really hated them before. But now they like to show them out to everybody. But um, it was. So back in 1999. Okay. There was only How many one years ago was that? Quick. Oh, God. Oh, 20. 20. 20. <laughs> that, that, was, that one's easy. Got it. Just try to uh, stick with even numbers. <laughs> See, a I'm lot easier. <laughs> I'm not so good with the math. <laughs> uh, I'm educated. That's what I like to say. Um, I did go to 20 pumps high, hmm. but uh, I, um, I there's only one tattoo you can get in the 90s, and that was tribal tattoo, right? Okay. If you remember that. I have no idea what that means. Oh, it just Tri means like, the style, the style, yeah. right? And the only place girls were allowed to get it were in their lower back. That's just, oh, that, that's that, just that, the way. That, yep, yep. That, we're gonna say we're gonna say the stamp. The stamp. There we go. So that was my very <laughs> first one. And ask me which one I regret the most. That's the only uh, one that's that I regret. The first one. <laughs> that's the only one I regret. Yeah. Um, it was literally. I walked in. I was 18. I didn't. No, I was just like any mini mini mo oh, on the wall, okay. and that that's one. basically how Number I did it. Four. And the guy's like, "You sure?" And well, I said any mini mini mo when I landed on that's it. That's literally how you chose it. <laughs> that's literally that's how they chosen. That's not well, a joke. <laughs> did you transition after that? Do you have a philosophy behind yes, it? Yes. Now I have. So, and um, usually, if I like something, and my husband actually has the same philosophy, if I have an idea, I think, and I still have that same idea in a year, okay, I'll get it. Okay. You know, because your mind changes. So, and we always tell our kids that too. Right. Because my, my, my husband's um, completely covered in tattoos as well. And so we always joke with the kids, like, you know, which one's going to get tattooed, which one's not. And, um, but we always tell the kids, like, hey, if you want to get one and you're 18 years old, if you tell us what you want to get and in when you turn 19 and you still want that too, we'll go in and we'll pay for it. Oh, that's nice. Because when you're 18, you're not going to go in and go any, mini miny, mo. That's what I'm trying well, that's to do. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, but yes, everyone has a story. So that was, that one really doesn't have a story except for I turned 18 and I was rebellious. Well, don't be shocked. <laughs> don't be shocked if all three of your kids end up with sort of a tabula rosa, just yeah. a complete blank slate. Oh, I, you know, I, <laughs> Nobody, my parents. No ink whatsoever. Well, my dad was in the Marine Corps for 32 years and doesn't have a tattoo. Which is so. That's a little unusual. Get, like, one, that's a, that's right. very yeah, unusual. They usually get one, get one, like even if they just do simplify. Very, yeah, you know. yeah, very anti-tattoo. So. Okay, so one thing I want you to tell is how I saw your sister who has the same tattoo. <laughs> you got to tell the story. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't so even know it was. Jessica moved right down the street from my sister, and our kid, uh, her kids, my nephew and her daughter go to the same school. And me and my sister got matching sister tattoos. Okay. Um, it's my mason jar one. So it's a mason jar because our last name is Mason. We're very original. Oh, and, and, your, and your dad was a jarhead. And your dad was a jarhead. <laughs> and okay, we, and it has a Joshua good. tree in it because we're from Twin Palms. And oh, that's cool. It's just kind of our home, right? Um, 
So we got these matching tattoos, and she has hers, I think, on her arm. arm yeah. And my sister, I, I think my sister called me first, right? Or did you no, call it was me? me? I was yeah, yeah. Walking by, and I was she's like, like, I see your sister. And I'm like, oh. I, was, well, I literally <laughs> was walking by and was like, I know that tattoo. Why do oh, I know so that you tattoo? Identified her. By that yes. tattoo. And all of a sudden, she turns and looks at me, and she gave me the same look that AJ gives you, like, are you really talking to me? <laughs> and I was like, nice. I was like, called wrist- uh, hi. Um, I crazy. I know that tattoo. My friend AJ has, and she goes, that's my sister. Oh, and I was like, small world. isn't that crazy? That's crazy. So then yeah. I came, I was like, AJ, we have to right? take it. So we took a selfie and then we sent yeah. it to AJ. We were like, I was oh, like, oh, it's so funny. <laughs> but identified by tattoos. Yeah, identified by tattoos. So I have, uh, yeah, that's my, my sister tattoo. Okay. Um, my first tattoo, every tattoo has like a, just a little bit of meaning. So sure. um, I'm, they might be not very like amazing meanings, but I'm obsessed with I love horror films. I've always liked to be rated horror films. That was one of my favorite things growing up. So I have like my own hand as a zombie hand on my ankle. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I never knew what that was. Yeah, I, so it's I my own hand. That. Like it's grabbing my ankle. Yeah. Um, I have uh, my Evil Dead tattoo, which is my favorite B-rated horror film um, on my thigh. I've got, I love music. Like I'm not a musician, but I, I love music. So I have a record player on my thigh, but just because I also like horror movies, it goes in with it. <laughs> and correct me if I'm wrong, I'm certain that throughout the entire planet today, you'll be the only human being that just said, I have a record player on my thigh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think anybody on the planet is going to say that exact sentence today. I guarantee it. <laughs> and it has a skull going through it with oh, bloody notes on go. it. <laughs> now, I Very can, now I know it's true. <laughs> um, my favorite holiday is Halloween. So I have my graveyard and my pumpkin. Um, obviously, my favorite holiday now, is Halloween. Let's just get technical for a second. Is Halloween truly a holiday? Oh, um, it's a or lifestyle. Or is it just sort of an event? <laughs> it's a lifestyle. That's what I tell my kids. It's a lifestyle. So when it's one of those things where I go, oh, Halloween decorations are out. House decorations are out. So I don't put a lot away. I, I basically rearrange my house. Do you? <laughs> that's, that's cool. Over half of my Halloween well, decorations I, I are in my you, house. Every child loves your house, so to speak, <laughs> oh, in their yeah. neighborhood. Our house the, Every is child loves a house that, the like yours. Kid, yeah, our house, it's like everybody wants to go. My, so I love Halloween. So a lot of my decorations are Halloween stuff. And then my husband is obsessed with Legos and Star Wars. And it looks like a 16-year-old boy. Right. I love you, honey. But it looks like a 16-year-old boy decorated our living room. So if you walk in our living room, we have every single Star Wars Lego set up from like 2004 and on. That's great. Um, it... It's ridiculous, and he keeps moving my stuff closer, like further away. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I have to have some of the living room. <laughs> but um, so we are definitely kids at heart, and our house is a fun house. It really is. Well, that's is. A, you know, <laughs> if, if I may, just on a personal note, um, I'm impressed both with you and your husband because what I see is that if you're going to do something, have a passion. Yeah. Don't yeah. just go through the go motions. The <laughs> have a passion. Yeah. Yeah. And, and what a better message could there be for younger kids yeah. to teach your children? I Pick what you love, yep. but love what you pick. Exactly. Don't just pick it for the sake of going along with others. Yeah. Have a passion about it. Yeah, and my kids have really, truly are like that. And, we, you know, we let them, we love, we just let them be themselves. That's and great. if it's whatever it is to, as long as it's obviously safe and healthy, we will we will be behind them. Like my daughter is obsessed with Zelda, obsessed. Like her whole room is Zelda and she's very amazing crafter. So once a week I take her to Michael's and there you she go. can just make there you anything. Go. See, and so half fantastic. of my, we got decorations all over the house that, you know, that she makes and it's, she's just very talented, like paintings. The and other message that I, I love to, to teach kids about having a passion is you will get teased at times for your passion, yeah, but here's your defense. <laughs> and here's what you always keep in mind. The only people that tease you for your passion are the ones that can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. And, you know, very true. And so I, it's part of true. being human is the ability to mock what I cannot do mm-hmm. because it, it puts the focus on how bad that thing is as opposed to how bad I Especially am at Especially at their <laughs> age and the, oh, as teenagers, absolutely. you know. Um, yeah. Like my, my son, he's, like I said, he's really into D&D. He's really into marching band. And, you know, he gets teased here and there, but he doesn't care. It's he just great. doesn't. And I love it. But he's just like, I don't care. He's like... This is what I like to do, and I'm going to do it. And that's what I try to instill in them. That's good. Like, you know, that's very good. Uh, yeah, so 
So yeah, each tattoo, like I love Harry Potter, so this is my little Harry Potter sleeve. Okay. Uh, my favorite tattoo though is my my chest piece because um, my husband is what well is always once a, a sailor, always a sailor. <laughs> but um, he was in the Navy, so this is actually a tattoo of him. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so this is him. Um, nice. And this is a woman waiting for her man to come home, and it's a little... So that's homage. him, and that's a different woman? Yeah, totally different woman. Oh. That's me. Like, you didn't think of using you? <laughs> yeah, I don't want a portrait of myself on me. <laughs> yeah, he was, he was a woman waiting <laughs> for you. Yeah, yeah, that would be a little strange, wouldn't it? No, no, no. But, uh, like, and here's then, me, and here's yeah. a tattoo of me. So can and you elaborate then? Because that is a question of mm-hmm. um, how you and Taylor met, because people think oh. that when they see you or through social... By care, so yeah, through yeah. social media, they think that you just to just click we do we're so uh we've only been together for six years oh um so my the two oldest are mine and the youngest is my my stepson so we're a nice blended family that's great um we we met it was pretty funny actually we met online uh because that's the only way you can date nowadays uh Right? Is that right? I mean, like, yeah. Well, but, uh, I, I always find that hanging out at bus depots. <laughs> that, that's works. I was walking around Home Depot looking for some men. It worked out. <laughs> Great place to find them. I'm a home. Anybody need help? I, I need some help. <laughs> um, no, but uh, we met. We met online, and I actually. So, <laughs> so, so you dated undocumented people? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> and yeah, they built her a beautiful house. I they, did. I did. You know, there's an upside to everything. You know story. what date I want to do? Let's remodel my bathroom. <laughs> that's a great date <laughs> um, no we um, we met on we met online um, I don't know I think it was like match.com I can't remember but um, uh, he was actually the first last person I was talking because I was just over it <laughs> you know I was just like eh. so he asked me out three or four times very persistent you know, he was no, he knew I was awesome already. Um, <laughs> so I finally agreed. Um, actually, was <laughs> <laughs> what you finally agreed that you were awesome. Oh, I, I know. Like, all right, I'm, all right, I'm awesome. So, I'll give up. Okay, we went on, we went on one date. Um, and literally the, we clicked the moment we met and we were both, it was like those things like step brothers. Did we just become best friends? <laughs> did we just, did we just, <laughs> <That's so cute. laughs> yeah. 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 So we, li- we, we have not been apart since. That's so it, cool. And we, we married a, a year, almost um, about a, a year and a month after we met. And every year we recreate our date, um, that we met, um, it, um, and then we, we bring the kids along on That's our sweet. date. You know, it's, really we love sweet. it. So we just really kind of like, you know, knew what we wanted and we just love each other so much and he's literally my best friend that's like, so cool yeah so it's a lot i met my wife actually at a at a gym oh, uh, nice. i wasn't she was teaching a dance class there and a friend of mine said hey you should meet this girl so i met her and she was just coming out of a relationship and i said well maybe we can go out and get a drink or have a bite to eat sometime she goes well i don't know i'm just getting out of a relationship and i said okay and i turned and walked away <laughs> and she's <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. And so then I hear, her, I hear I hear her in the background. I hear, oh wait, wait a second. Well, and she goes, okay, well maybe we can. And so we went out and and went to like this little Mexican restaurant. And we're sitting there now, mind you, I was a little older. I'm 26 at that time. And we ordered some nachos, let's say. And we're talking, and she nachos. says, uh, well, she goes, she says, well, I don't know. It's just been hard. I just I hate the fact that just because you go out and have dinner with someone, they think you're automatically going to start, you know, going to bed with them or something. Right. Yeah. And right when she said it, he was putting the food down, and I just stood up, picked up the nachos, and walked out the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> she goes, I think I hate just because you're buying me dinner. You're, I'm going to sleep with you. I went, oh. oh. <laughs> and I did not. And I walked out. <laughs> <laughs> and then I came back in, and she was laughing. <laughs> and it's a lot like you. you yeah. Just, it just well, and it was one of those things where we always joke about this, so. I, I told him like you know I, I I liked him a lot and and I told him too I like I don't do stuff like that and it was funny he was like well how many date like joking around he's like three dates okay well let's go eat that'll be second date like the same night <laughs> and then uh, we'll get ice cream <laughs> yeah then the walk back that equal the walk back to your car equals three dates right and I'm like and so I the joke was I I um I gave him a, a quick little kiss okay and then I hopped in my like a surprise kiss like I hugged him gave him a little surprise kiss hopped in my Prius and I went, and he just drove off. <laughs> oh, he didn't even know you were leaving. <laughs> he did it. He was like, what, what, like, what was that say? And he, yeah. But did he call me the next day? Absolutely. <laughs> That's sweet. No, but yeah, we always joke about the surprise kiss. Um, That's a great story. But no, he's my best friend. And Good. we do everything together except for work out. Oh. <laughs> We're working on that. <laughs> We're working on that. Yeah. No, he's. Well, you do have to have some separation. <laughs> <laughs> no, we do. We do. And also, he, you know, he did um, 15, almost 15 years of the Navy. And he was. 
he really um, broke his body for our country. So I always thank him for that. But uh, he, he definitely has a hard time working out. So yeah. well, he I has reasons. Him. I just like to give him crap. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but he has good reasons. Well, um, how are you on your questions, Mike? Because I have a lot of these. Feel free. I, I ready? Okay. Are you Shoot. ready? Are, are you, you ready? ready? <laughs> are you ready? Okay. As long as I don't have to do math. Uh, okay. <laughs> six. <laughs> okay. 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 So six of the twelve are math questions. So how many are math questions? I need a questions? pen. I need a calculator. <laughs> Half. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I almost got that. Uh, <laughs> almost six. Got six. Uh, six. Six of the twelve six. are math. <laughs> how many are math? Six. six. <laughs> okay. So, Andrew. Hi, Andrew. I love Andrew. He loves you too. He literally said that he loves you. He loves your playlist, but he wants to know how often per per week do you weight train? And how often do you spin? It really. Um, Besides, I guess, I maybe start. Wait a second. Is this teach? Andrew? Yeah. Richie. Richie. Andrew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's Scotland seeing Common? other instructors. Andrew, you better oh, run. Oh, Mike he's knows. cheating on you. <laughs> oh, I didn't know he was seeing other instructors. I, I mean, Andrew, I didn't Andrew know we really had an open Andrew's relationship. Andrew's awesome. He gets I didn't know it's open. In that case, Andrew, I'm Andrew. going to start seeing other students. <laughs> yeah, Andrew's start. the lover of all, right, Andrew? Yeah. <laughs> he's going to start. Um, <laughs> Poor Andrew's up there like, oh. He's like, dang um, it. That's a great question because it changes a lot. Um, so it really depends on my life. <laughs> Being a mom is, oh. it, right? Being a mom like isn't always that teach, easy. Too. You can start yeah, that. so I start, so let's start with um, spinning. So right now I teach three I have to calculate that. Two, only two spin classes. No, three, cl three spin classes a week. Sorry, I can't even math, math. Mm. Three spin classes a week. Um, so that's that's the only time I spin because I like three classes. I like other cardio. So um, I do three times a week on that. Um, I hike twice a week. Um, I love hiking. And that's San good. Diego is. Oh, it's beautiful. I mean, so can't, nice. You can't beat San Diego when it comes to hiking. Um the weather the weather's amazing so I, I hike twice a week for my other cardio if i'm not hiking i'll usually go to the lake i like to be outside obviously this yeah. is what i'm going with um so when i do my cardio not spinning i'm outside i either run the lake or i run the bay um like i said san diego is just a wonderful playground so i, I try to get as much as possible um lifting is one of my favorite things to do which we all know so i try to lift my on my own twice a week okay. because I do spin sculpt so I do lift during my teaching um, I don't like to overtrain, especially um, if I'm trying it depends on what my goals are so if I'm trying to trim down I'll cut back a little bit on the weightlifting and do a little bit more right. cardio right. and then right. when I'm trying to tone up a little bit I'll, I'll change it up but right now three days a week of spin two hiking or running and then uh, two days of, of weight training so now do you uh, do the same basic cycle on your weight training like you do upper body um, lower body same yeah, yeah so if i'm on a program so a true weightlifting program like if yeah. you have a trainer it takes about 8 to 14 weeks depending on your program for your body to change yeah to adapt right, right? So if we, we used to call that turning, your yep. body turns. Yeah, your body turns. And it's amazing when it turns cuz all of a sudden you'll go wow, yeah. you look so different. Yeah. <laughs> so but if you keep doing that same routine after right. those eight to 14 weeks, you'll, you'll maintain, but you won't see another change. Right. So you kind of have to, it's called periodization too, right? So you kind of build up, build up, but out. And so what I normally do is I, when I, with the same routine I do, I go heavier, heavier, heavier till I basically reach my max. Okay. And then I switch up the moves, um, and do the same thing. And that's how I get stronger. Yeah. Um, yeah. and it just, and it also like, I like, I like, change but I don't like change does that make sense so I like the fact I don't like no. constant change so I like that I have one routine that I stick with for about 8 to 14 weeks and then change it up um, and I just feel stronger that way and I like to see how I and it's a good way to, sh to see how you progress sure because if you if I did one this week next week I went up five pounds I'm like woohoo look at me I'm strong and then the next week you know so it kind of shows your progression yeah well, I do uh, something similar in that, you know, I like the, the methodology of adding weight and adding weight. I keep adding until I get someone else to come in and help me yeah. lift. Yeah. And then there's yeah, You need a couple of spotters. what about your rest days? Oh, uh, I do have two rest days. So Good I give myself you. two rest days. Um, yeah. It's because Huge. I, I'm an active mom. And I'm, a, so my biggest philosophy, and I, I've talked about this before in other talks, 
is injury prevention, yeah. you know, and one of the biggest things for injury prevention is rest. It's a component of fitness, right? And do you mean, when you say rest, do you mean you completely don't move? Do you she mean you go get for out a bed. walk? Right. I Netflix all do day. Do you <laughs> Netflix and chill? I mean, do you go for a walk? Um, do you roll out? Do you SMR? Like, what do you... What it depends you on how I feel. Okay. So if I'm feeling super sore, I'll have a nice little stretch day, and an extra rolling day. Um, but honestly, I try my rest days are my rest days like I don't even like to think about fitness on those days to be honest with you I That's good. I might be cleaning the house I, I I usually so my rest days are the days that are most active with my family and so I I move a lot I'm not just sitting on the couch obviously but um my body needs it and my rest days are never two days together right that's my philosophy not 48 that's hours good. long no, that's, and that's yeah. really important and, and and the reason I think it's so important is just real briefly is it I kind of, you know, we wear heart monitors, for example. Mm -hmm. I don't like the fact that it shows you your calories. And, and here's why. Because people go, oh, I only burn, you know, yeah. I burn 600 calories. Mm -hmm. And I think, well, technically you didn't. Because if you weren't yeah. riding, you'd still be burning calories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. You'd burn 150. Oh, so absolutely. really, mm -hmm. your exercise only added 400 mm -hmm. plus more. So don't get obsessed on that. Yeah, I, I'm like, a big sucker on that. Because you're on a rest day, your metabolism, if you work out mm -hmm. properly, it, it's changed. Oh, and yeah. You're and you're burning calories burning at a higher day. rate. And, and your so body needs that in order to get the that The body epoch, loves right? that oh, yeah. rest. And, mm -hmm. and that's, I think that's yeah. awesome that so, you do that. So, yeah, two days. I mean, Keep that in mind, folks. Sometimes, it, you know, I'll be called to sub. That, that's that's always like a, um, and it's my rest day. I'll do it. You know, you like to help out. But um, I won't. I'll just stand up front and tell no, them what nope, to do. Nope, it's my rest day. <laughs> I'm not getting on that damn bike. You people ride. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. But, um, yeah, I just, um, I'm a big, so I usually, my rest days are usually Wednesdays um, and Saturdays. Good for you. So Very one good. day with the family, um, Sundays they love that I work because they all sleep in, they get to do their thing. They're like, mom's not here, we don't Dad, have to do chores. Dad's secretly <laughs> out buying donuts. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I know they know what they do is they call me like, can you bring breakfast burritos on your way home? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you guys aren't even up yet, are like, you? Wait, you didn't make me a burrito? I know, right? right? <laughs> I so wait, you didn't make it for me. Yeah. Um, but um, yeah, I, I do like to rest. Um, but I do, I work out a lot and I love working out. And Good. I, but I like my own workouts. I love hiking. That's one of my favorite things let's to do. do uh, let's do another one. What do you All have? Right. So uh, this is, you, I want to read this whole thing because I really love it. And I love when people say such nice things. Which Because oh. think about just now we had, um, for those of you, comrade, uh, Heather and Owen. Heather Wilcox, Wilcox mm -hmm. from Virginia. Yes. Right? So fun. From Virginia. And it is so cool because just per chance, Mike is in here. Right. AJ's class. Miriam and Mary were in here. Miriam and Mary H. And then I'm in here because I had a class before and we're doing this. She got so like she literally and Eric. And, and Eric. Eric who's <laughs> the man. <laughs> we can't forget Eric. <laughs> anyway, so it's just really cool. Has anybody so ever seen Eric? He's really pretty good. He's like have you been in on the camera? mirror. You know, you know, like, uh, okay. He's got right. the nicest smile. Uh, he does. <laughs> Tim Allen, that show where the one guy was oh, always behind yeah. the fence. Yeah. What was his name? Oh, it's gonna kill me. All I'll oh, probably say like scream a name at the end of this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, that's Eric. We just see. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> just a little peek. the neighbor. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Anyways, Wilson. 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 No. Maybe. No, maybe. that was the volleyball. That was the volleyball. No. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, I think that's so close. close. So close. You were so close. <laughs> if you know okay. when you're on Facebook, type it. Okay, AJ, <laughs> you always look like you love your life. That itself is inspiring. My question, how do you decide on your hair color? <laughs> what motivates you to change it up? Tell us how your hair expresses you and your personality. Oh, man. Um, I wish they could see it change as much as we do. <laughs> I am. Like, okay. Well, I, my personality, it shows my ATT. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that's what it shows I'm like literally I dye my hair I'm like what color am I going to do next um, I always loved fun hair and I was 13 years old when I begged my mom to dye my hair for the first time and she let me and so I did it that like 90s grunge red sure. do you remember oh, that? Yeah, that oh yeah. Good, yeah. yeah so I had that for quite a few years and then, like I haven't seen my original hair color since I was 13 um then I did, and then I was like, I'm so goth, and I did uh, black for did a long time. Black, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, sure, and um, sure. but I, I, when I worked on base, I worked on base for a long time, and we couldn't have super fun colored hair, so I would do it like underneath, you know, to hide it because I'm, you know, rebellious like that. But I would do like red, something I wouldn't really get in trouble for. Um, so as soon as I left working on base, I kind of like was like bleach, and then I just I go through basically the, how I do it is I just go through the color will. Um, so when you dye your hair, 
Uh, not that I'm like the best, the best expert, but I've been dying it myself for years now. Um, oh, you do this? To I your do head? all my that on my own. Holy smokes, mm-hmm. girl! That takes yeah. it to a whole nother so, level. It's such beautiful colors um, you get. I thank you. I uh, like, I've done it for so long that I feel like if I ever had a second career, it would just be hair coloring. Hair coloring. <laughs> Don't ask me to cut your hair, <laughs> but I will. I, I, mean, I tried cut cutting it. my bangs. <laughs> it was <laughs> like this new wave angled look. Um, <laughs> but I I um I do love to color hair. So. I just do the color wheel. So when you when you first bleach your hair, usually the best colors are to go with are like a red or a pink because of the tone of your hair. And then you just go through the wheel. So usually it goes pink to purple to blue so to green to yellow no to idea. orange so to pink. Much. Yeah, because you can't really go from one color to the next or it'll kind of be muddy right. and brown. You have to sort of follow mm-hmm. the spectrum. So I do like a spectrum. spectrum. So yeah. right now I'm on the blue spectrum. Okay. Uh, I like this And spectrum. then, just thank you. As an aside, <laughs> apropos of nothing, when you're done working out and your body's still hot, the worst thing in the world to do is to sit on a leather couch. <laughs> oh, yeah. So like, then it's squeak, hot. Squeak, oh, my God. You guys are going to have to get peeled off. It's it is fine. like <laughs> torture. It is the worst. <laughs> when I get, I, my, my car is leather. Apparently too, it's, it's like the it's worst. Wilson. It is Wilson. It, you were right. I'm amazing. <laughs> okay. My pop culture knowledge is yeah. undone. All right. Um, Forget math. Thank you. We so, got that. I know, right? That's right. Yeah. Ask me any work. TV questions. Next one. <laughs> we have Miss Allie. She wants to know. What your favorite workout gear or gadgets mm. you could not live without? Oh. Oh. Well, so I was actually just, so I got to train Heather and her wonderful husband, Owen, yesterday. And I was just telling them the story yesterday. So I, I my background is, I, we were talk, keep talking about working on base, is I worked on base as a trainer. And the nice thing about working on base as a trainer is that every new thing that comes, we get certified in it for free. And because, you know, the government gives them, they, we basically want to be the best trainers we can be. So I'm basically paying for your certification. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, taxpayers. <laughs> <laughs> um, for my knowledge. No. So because we're trained the trainers. So we train the, right. the Marine Corps how to train themselves properly. Blah, blah. So the T-Rex was invented by a Navy SEAL. Um, and it was very first introduced to the Marine Corps and the Navy to train military on. So I got to be one of the first groups that got to be wow. trained on the T-Rex. Um, and that automatically became one of my favorite things. I thought it was so cool that I can take this anywhere. And that, because the whole goal was, you know, put on a Humvee, wherever you're at. So T-Rex would probably be the one thing that I got really excited about, the first thing I ever got excited about, and that I still use to this day, and it's one of my favorite tools. Um, just because, and it's ever evolving. It's one of the ones where too, when I ever want to get recertified on the TRX, I go to the class. Yeah. Oh, you have to. Oh yeah, because yeah. I'm learning like, oh, this is new. Right. You know, I mean, the first time we, like the first, very first model of the TRX is nothing like the model right now too. Right. Like you used to have to put it in single mode. You'd have to, you know what I mean? It was, now it's, it's, it's it, they've definitely changed it up. But um, I love Dynamax balls. It's one of my favorite tools. Those are the sl- big slam balls, like the big cloth ones, right? Um, because it's very functional, right? Um, it, it, you can do so much with it. They're just they're just fun, cool. you know. You're just playing very with good. giant balls, <laughs> um, <laughs> slam balls. Um, my other favorite, I love I love I love lifting. I love powerlifting. Um, so I would say a barbell is one of my favorite tools. Um, I love Olympic lifting. I used to Olympic lift a lot. I, I come from a family of powerlifters. Oh, okay. They st- I have some some cousins that still compete. Um, so I've always, and I, I think my body is just built that way because I'm like 70% Austrian and German. You know, we're just, we're built tough. I, and, come, um, I come from a family of powerless lifters. Oh, powerless lifters. Yes. There you go. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, that's so a yeah, I a know. different family. We're all so, spelt, and dirt, yeah. Yeah. tall and thin. <laughs> we're just, we're just built <laughs> to we, lift and heavy. And what we do is we look for people like you and say, can you pick that up? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I got it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I always, that's how I talk to I'll, I'll I'm going to be over here jar. with my knitting. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I like, I really enjoy um, a barbell. I can't live without that, like for, for working out and powerlifting. But that's here. I really enjoy a bar. A bar? <laughs> just the bar <laughs> minus the bell. Just the bar. Yeah. Just the bar. I want the bar minus I the bell. I just want the bar. <laughs> I like okay. both. Meet me at the bar. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, but yes, those are my those are my favorites. I, there's so many though. Honestly, like, I go through phases. Um, I love kettlebells. I love. Um, I was kettlebell certified, and that was a really neat certification. Um, That's cool. Because there's so much you can do on a kettlebell. That right. It's it's insane. Um, Let me change direction yeah. completely off topic just for a second. I will get back to your fitness question. What is the most famous movie you've never seen? That I've never seen. That you've never seen. I've never seen The Godfather. There you go. 
Thank you. Yeah, and, and, and you know, <laughs> I know why? Don't look at me like that. My kindred okay, spirit. You know thing. what? I know. I've, I never, see I've seen never seen The Godfather. I've never seen it. But I read the book. Okay. And okay. that's why I never But I do not watch movies. horror movies. I will not touch them with the 10 foot pole. Oh, really? I've seen that scary thing, the new movie. I'm not even going to say it. it. <laughs> that movie? That Just kidding. Word. <laughs> oh, nightmares. hold on. You see my Pennywise? Yeah. I can't, oh. I can't I look at that tattooed tattoo. on my face. I feel like, AJ, okay, turn around. Stop letting fitness. me look at your leg. <laughs> oh, I know. I, I've never so seen So this one's actually father. not a fitness. Um, Anne from Saskatchewan. Ooh. Did I say that right? Yes. Saskatchewan, Mexico. Now Got spell it. it. Very no. <laughs> no, not Saskatchewan. That's totally from Mexico. I think it's Canada. <laughs> it's Canada. You sure? I this Positive. Is okay, I mean, I did. I was I went to Skagway, Canada, <laughs> or, or not Canada? Wait, no. Wait, that's it's Alaska. Kind of like we're I went to Victoria, Canada. Well, that's what she's asking. She wants to know what your. It's beautiful. She said that you go on cruises all the time. I don't. I you do. Don't I'm work. a cruiser. I so love what, cruise. I'm like the I'm like cruise an old lady cruiser too. I love the casino. What do you like? I love bingo. Like? Oh, bingo is my jam. Seriously. I love bingo, and I get so excited. I'm in the front row. And when I over lady, oh yeah, my bingo. I said hey, hey, and I got my trolls out. No, just kidding. But I do. I love bingo, and it's funny because bingos on cruises are way more fun than the casinos because they're not as serious. I tried doing bingo in a casino before, and I way too serious for me and expensive. But the uh, if there's we go to every single bingo. <laughs> And we go to the casinos and we, yeah, we're, that's funny. It's, it what is cruise funny. line? Um, the last one I went on, which was, uh, so have you ever, uh, the norovirus, the norovirus, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we just went on the Norwegian Car- carnival Bliss. norovirus carnival. <laughs> well, yeah, we'll be. do. So we've done the carnival actually cruise a couple times out of, um, long beach to, uh, we've done a, a few of the, th- the three day. In fact, we went on a cruise, exact same cruise one month exactly one month apart it one was for my family cruise like my wanted to see if the kids would like it because we were planning on doing an alaskan cruise but we wanted to see you sure. know yeah. test the water test the water so we did a three-day cruise um it goes to ensenada it's it's like literally a party cruise you just go ensenada yeah i know you could drive there you could drive there you could drive there yeah 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 but it's just experience you know okay, everybody on the boat um, everybody off the boat yeah <laughs> And then, um, don't even need to pack the, snacks. Yeah, right. And so we went on that one. It was super fun. And then a month later, we went on <laughs> another, the same exact one, but for my friend's 40th. And it was a, like, a theme one. So we had to dress up, like, I can as a picture like, you character. playing bingo on the internet. Oh, oh, I, I was like, G1. Oh, I have. Oh, oh. okay. That's the end of the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're already we're, no, we're, we're at port. there. We're at port. <laughs> it is like that. You get on. It's it's it's, it's so funny because oh. and it's like I, I could drive here. Um, I do love Mexico though. It's always fun. Two dollar beers. You can't beat that, no. right? Um, but uh, really, because I mean, because that is a question. Are you strict on your diet? When I cruise, no. <laughs> Girl, you gotta live. What's you gotta live. I'm, all I'm thinking about is what is the point of exercising right if one has That's to also all. be strict oh, on a diet? Oh, I actually got that question um, too. So when I go on vacation, especially like cruises, and I went on an Alaskan cruise. So grant you, I am active. Right. So we went canoeing. We went hiking. Um, we did a lot of fun active things. Um, they had laser tag on there. We did that a few times. There's go karts. I was kicking some booty on that. Um, walk into my bingo class and it was all the way across the boat. I mean, that's exercise, right? <laughs> no? Okay. Uh, <laughs> did you, I mean, did you perspire? Did you break a song? Oh, oh, totally. totally. Well, because like, I got so excited. I was like, right. I would stand up. Like, like, oh. I won $600 on bingo, by the way, one time. But anyways, that was the highlight of my life. Um, <laughs> you said a low bar. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you said it low, you, you never know really where you're going to get to. Um, but I don't work out when I am on vacation on, in a gym. Because yeah. when you say, for instance, you work in an office, you don't want to go and work on vacation, on a find an office to sit at. For yeah, a while. exactly. Yeah. So when I'm on a vacation, I'm not going to go into that's because that's my job. Right. Right. No, there was a bunch totally. of there was actually a bunch of spin bike there. So I'm like, oh, there's a nice spin bike. So I'm like, but I'm not going to do it. It'd be like um, being a surgeon and on vacation saying, yeah. let's go find a hospital. Yeah. Now, <laughs> like if I'm going out. on like a lazier vacation, then I'll bring my workout clothes and I'll go for a run and I'll do an outdoor workout. But I just, I just kind of refuse to go to See, the I'll gym. do the same thing. <laughs> and, when I'm on vacation. And I'm not going, like, I'll go for runs. But I don't go for a run for the exercise. I go for a run because I can see Oh, and it's beautiful. The yeah, area. We'll I want to see long the long and and go see. I want to yeah. run through a trail. Yeah, and, yeah, and you can find some back way that you're absolutely. like, oh, I don't right. think I'm supposed to be here, but yeah. I just found the best trail to the ocean yeah. in Hawaii. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so we, that's, that's kind of my philosophy on, because most, and most of my vacations actually are active. I do a lot. Every once a year, I go on a me-cation. Because I love national parks, and unfortunately, my husband can't hike or do a lot of active stuff. So I go with my, I call them my um, adventure buddies, my cousins. And we did Half Dome at Yosemite one year. We just did the um, Havasupai um, 
three day um, backpacking trip. Sure. Um, and then next one we want to do is Angel Landing in Zion. So um, I do very active vacations, but when I'm on a family vacation, I usually try to keep it. So Wait. I don't know if you're familiar with Yosemite. Um, have I you ever done Yosemite. the High Sierra Camp? Uh, mm -mm. So they have these camps in Yosemite. They're called High Sierra Camps. And they're uh, cement slabs with tents set up for you with cots and things. And when you get there, they provide you with dinner. Nice. And then in the morning, they make breakfast. And then they give you a box lunch. And then you just hike to the next camp. Oh, that's and so cool. Really cool. I would you totally be into that. I see her. I'm about to look it And up. you go all the way around. And you have like three or four nights. And, and it's, it's, you're not carrying oh, a lot of gear. I was, just saying, so you, I was just saying, that's beautiful. You it's don't beautiful. Have to it's, yeah. You're just right. really enjoying it. Because that's the hardest part. Is it like, is. It's like, I mean, I had, what manage what you're you should put see in when I went to have a supai, I had the biggest. Huge. I remember. But so my husband decided to to give me a, a pack. And, you know, my husband gives me the biggest thing he can find. And I'm thinking, oh, this is normal. <laughs> and then I go there and mine's like three times the size of everybody else's. And I'm sitting there like a boss. I'm like, I got this. And I did it. <laughs> I did it. Of course it. you did. Yeah, yeah it was it was not easy, but I did it. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it was it was pretty funny. But uh, that is the worst. I um, Yosemite, my favorite story, Yosemite. So I got there. I know we probably have to wrap, um, go faster, but I had to, I got there the night before my cousins, and so I was the first night I've ever camped by myself, right? And I'm sitting there, and it was one of the things you say. It was a slab. It was called the, ha um, the housekeeping camp, if you've ever right. been there. So the right. slab, it has a bed in it, and then it has, like, a curtain. So it's like a half camping, half glamping, right? Um, well, I was laying down in this bed, and it was, like, I don't know, maybe I was trying to get to bed early, 8 o'clock at night, and I see something, like, go by, and I thought it was a person. I'm like, oh, my gosh, what do I do? And I get my little bear mace out. <laughs> and, and I'm like, what is it? And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, a raccoon pops up on my bed. Oh. And it's like, what's up? And I'm like... I start screaming, and the thing was like, ah, and it ran away. And I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, that was a raccoon. And I was just like, okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. It happened three more times that night, and <laughs> so I finally, yeah, raccoon? this raccoon just kept coming back, like it liked me. I don't know what was going. On. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, it slammed the bed. I'm like, oh, oh wait. And so I finally grabbed the mattress, and I threw it against the wall so it couldn't come back in. You know what I mean? Like right, I blocked right, my, blocked I basically brought myself in it, and I slept on the floor, and I can hear it going. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get in I'm like you can't come in I would be a mess I would be <laughs> and the best part was my cousins didn't believe me and we stayed at the same campsite and I said it's gonna come and I was I was putting up a raccoon trap and I just basically put all of our chairs in front of right. the thing and they're like what are you doing and I'm like I'm, I'm trapping the raccoon so he can't come in and they're like there's no raccoon and all of a sudden in the middle of the night this raccoon comes in and they're like there's a raccoon <laughs> it was pretty funny that's pretty cute oh my God. Um, I'm not sure maybe you'll Liz is Liz. Yeah. Smart. Hi, Liz. <laughs> we know Liz. Um, she's asking how many Pez dispensers you have. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Like three, four, five Maybe thousand. I'm not really sure. Um, I, so I collect. I know. It's, are, you a Pez, are you a closet Pez dispenser collector? I am not a geek. Okay. Yes, you are. <laughs> All, all, that, all evidence to the contrary. Yeah, I was just saying, all it's not my dream to have a room full of Pez dispensers. I told my husband when I, because our house right now, um, as soon is it Your sad house that kind of looks like it's like a uh, museum. Yeah, how, uh, we like should Star Wars basically pay, and pay people to come in. Don't yeah, touch. Yeah, don't touch. Come look. Come view I got my museum. Harry Potter section. Um, so I started collecting Pez dispensers as a kid, and it kind of became. I don't know, just everyone knew I collected them, so I would get them uh, tons of them as gifts. I have, like, you know those um, plastic um, storage boxes, like the really big ones? Right, I've right. got, like, four of those, Filled with like, Pez to dispensers. the top of For those Pez of dispensers. you under the age of 30, Pez <laughs> is a candy. <laughs> oh, little tidbit, Pez dispensers, because I did, uh, okay, when, I, when I'm obsessed with something, I'm obsessed with it, I did an essay on it. So Pez dispensers were somebody was trying to figure out a way to stop people from smoking. So they came up with a Pez dispenser, and it looked like a lighter. Right. And so they would do this, and, and then, then they would get a mitt in their mouth. And, 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 and they were mitt. Oral fixation. Fixation. I have yeah, one of the exactly. very first ones. Thank you very much. Who knows what wow. it's worth? I could be totally rich. Uh, probably not. <laughs> More than bingo, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> More bingo money. Um, that, um, but, yes, yeah, so I have – and so my dream is when I have my very own office. So I, I, I work from home a lot, and um, right now my office is kind of like behind – like in the living room because we have a four bedroom house so we don't have an office which I that's my husband wants to build me one I want my walls to lined be just with lined with my there you go. There you go. I don't know why but I have always dreamed that um, <laughs> but yes I have a lot of Pez dispensers it's my secret collection not secret anymore but my husband when we were moving to, in together he's like what is all this I'm like don't even worry about it oh. <laughs> but we have to keep it <laughs> um, yeah 
So a lot of people are excited about these Yosemite. Apparently, we have someone who's coming to visit, not us, but okay. from Scotland. Ooh. She oh. said, and she's going to Yosemite. Uh, so she says is, you're like I, hyping I her cry, up. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little it's emotional. So beautiful. It's, it's I drove there by myself. Right. And I it's love overwhelming. It's when overwhelming. I once you go through this tunnel. Yeah. And you uh, and you go to the El Capitan, you'll see the waterfall. I literally was like, oh my god, it's so beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's inspiring. It was, it's, it's beautiful. It's the most, it's the most it's beautiful place. Well, it's just like I've Eric ever was been to. Just showing. And the was in uh, Grand Canyon. Oh, and I his love photos. The they look yeah. fake. They yeah. look like someone just painted yeah. them in. So see, I went to have a supai, which is on the outskirts of, mm-hmm. and, that, and same thing. It's just, it's a, a fairy tale. The really? first time I ever went to the Grand Canyon, though, I, I pull into this large parking area, and there's a. RV and a bunch of people and they're barbecuing. And what like, year was this? Can we I'm just ask? This <laughs> <laughs> it was well, you there. used to be able yeah. to like barbecue in their car outside of the Grand Canyon. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. This was in the late 80s. I wasn't around. It, it was, and I was like, this is disgusting. I yeah, oh God, that's so funny. <laughs> what, what am I doing here? <laughs> Do you know, it, it's for, Grand Canyon so so vast that there are certain areas like oh whatever but then yeah, you get yeah. to the areas you're like oh now well, i know the, why it's the one mistake of the seven people make is the they think that the entire thing is grand and it's not it's there not, are parts yeah. where you go okay right but when then it, there are other yeah. parts where you're like oh my gosh yeah. is this yeah. the planet earth and like the colorado the colorado river is very brown that runs through right. some of it right so one of the coolest parts that have a supai is you hike you did the, i did this 12 mile hike which i broke my ankle by the way and did an extra 30 miles on it Ooh. On a broken ankle. <laughs> On a broken ankle. Um, that's just because I'm clumsy. Um, I wasn't. So we had to we had to do this like 12 mile hike, and there was no trail. Right. So you kind of had to. And there's the rocks. You know, they put the, they stack the rocks up to know when you need to cross the river, go back to the river, right. all that stuff. So I went through all these rocks, stepped through all these things in the river. I literally broke my ankle walking on sand. <laughs> It just went. Well, I, I was like, "Oh crap!" <laughs> and my cousin's like, "What happened? There's nothing there." I'm like, "I, I know. It's a bug. That's why." Bugs. Yeah, I was, um, but I, I kept going through. But so we walked this thing called the Confluence, and it's where the Havasupai River, which is crystal Excuse blue, me. um, meets the Colorado River, which is dirty brown. <laughs> so it's really neat. You walk there, and you can just see, and it looks like a perfect line where the blue meets the brown. It's one of the cool. If you really anyone that goes yeah. to Grand Canyon, it's really neat. So I don't know why I didn't have to tell that We story. probably <laughs> have time for just a couple more Sorry. questions. Uh, one is Roz from Northern Ireland. She, especially because you're wearing a hangry shirt, she wants to know you have like the most entertaining and individualized shirts. Where do you get them? <laughs> um, and do you just look at them and you're like, yeah, I'm buying that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think I bought this when I was hungry. Um, I'm like, oh, that that speaks to me. <laughs> <laughs> Or your new uh, puppy shirt. Right, I, oh, my puppies in fitness. Oh, yeah. I saw that. I was like, I have to have that. Um, I get them from many places. Uh, my family knows I like silly shirts, so I get them a lot as presents. But um, I find them, like, I found my, that puppy in fitness one at a music festival. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. I found this one at Ross. <laughs> Hello, Ross. Um, I don't know. I just, I find them in different spots, like online, Amazon. Um, I like this company um like you know everyone knows the fitness tea company that one's a good one they have some funny ones um i bought i have a few from there um there's so many like even like hot topic because my kids love hot topic and there'll be some funny pop a really good place to find really creative t-shirts is every gym's lost and found pin yeah, yeah, for that too, yeah. right? So you find some really <laughs> great shirts. Yeah. No, they don't all fit. Uh, right? They don't all fit, but I, uh, they're yeah. cool. So I, I find I kind of find them I don't know. They just they come. They pop out at me. I don't know why. I just I, I get lucky. That's basically what it is. All right. But if there's a particular one you Ooh. want, go ahead and ask, and so I'll tell close. you where I got it. So close on that one. I almost just launched my laptop. Uh, <laughs> okay, I think this is a great question to end on. It's Diane Smith, which she didn't say where she was from, uh, but maybe I the can world. look while she's <laughs> okay. Do you find it difficult to imagine just how many SSOD members watch your videos? Do you think about this when you're recording? She didn't say this part, but I think this is something to elaborate. Do you think about how many people, like if you're having a bad day, do you think about, gosh, look at all these people's lives I've impacted? Yeah, I, that's honestly, yes, I, I do. Cause that's, you know, I think that's kind of like why I do what I do is like, for instance, when I wanted, because I wanted to be a park ranger, I wanted to make a difference in the world because yeah. I wanted to preserve yeah. these beautiful places. So when I went into fitness, I realized the difference I can make in other people's lives. So at first it was so 
rewarding to help wounded warriors and like and help Marines lose weight so they can stay in and, and stay active duty. And then it came here. I never imagined I would be able to train people that I don't even see. That's pretty cool. Isn't and it? yeah, and have an impact on. Yeah. And so it, awesome. it's inspiring and, and a little nerving. Like I, I'm never nervous teaching class, but I am nervous when I film. I'm not well, going to lie. What's so funny is I get um, a little nervous. <laughs> I had done a few yeah. original classes, you know, videotape mm -hmm. and then have them posted. And then once I think I got an email from Eric, and he goes, "Hey, you, you know, you should respond to the comments." And I said, "What comments?" <laughs> yeah, we always forget. You know, sometimes I we had, forget. I'm not I gonna lie. I had no idea that people. Yeah. Were, I, I, I didn't know. I, I had no idea people commented. And, and I was like, "And they're oh, so, and they're so what are they comments? What are they commenting they are, on? I know. I literally read them. I know. I it's love it. So cool. I I think like, um, I I didn't really think about it as much until I became. The program manager for for Studio oh, Sweat she's on from demand. Highlands in Scotland. Oh, ooh, I Whoa. like it. I like all the Scotland people. Yeah. Um, which is my next vacation, by the way. Um, that's where we want to go. Lots but um, in Ireland, yeah. Dying to meet you. Yeah. I know. I, we I, should go together and just go visit fun. all the comrades. We can all party Let's together. Go, yeah. I mean, on a bike. I mean. And bar. play bingo. Right. And play bingo. Right. If you like bingo, <laughs> hit me up. Uh, <laughs> I'll the bring bingo my trolls. Tour. Right. That's what the S S O D bingo tour. Yeah. Make it into a I love bingo. I don't know why. Yeah, so once I became... Ooh, bingo on bikes. Well, that would, and now oh, that would be a good one. Bingo on you bikes. You guys, so guess the new challenge that we just had. <laughs> I was just going to say that. I, I run like, those challenges. I <laughs> of course, now I get and it. I, bingo, I was like, bingo, bingo. I don't get it. Um, so anyways, uh, how do you how do you put, put two passions together? <laughs> um, so I think now that I get to interact with you all, and that's the one of the best parts that's of cool. my job, is that I finally got to get to, I feel like I get to know all of you. And so now I kind of putting, even if it's not, it's faces, because thank God for social media, right but now I kind of kind of put faces to names and then like I, I get it you know it's I get to know you a little bit more and that's why I love doing these challenges too if you I always post like hey tell me more about yourself I want to know like what what got you in as SSOD because everyone's story is a little bit different or you know what's your favorite you know workout kind of thing but yeah I don't I never thought about it as much when I filmed until I became more involved behind the scenes and right. and seeing how much how inspiring you guys are like it's it's amazing yes. like we wouldn't be here without you and i love that it's all it's all different people from all different places of the world coming together and i just think it's the coolest thing i really do well I you've really been do. a delight and an inspiration <laughs> we have been like actually honestly probably this is a pretty good little trio people are really entertained by us okay. so we should probably <laughs> think about maybe starting our own talk show we need a yeah. podcast yeah well, we should I, probably I like have a podcast because i'd like to finish by saying and and this is it, completely true i'm not being comical here um, okay. You do okay. so many things in life that are the exact opposite of me, <laughs> and yet it's entertaining. I find it fascinating. Yeah, and not that I'm going to start You're playing bingo or going on cruises, right <laughs> but I, I'm Is fascinated. He? I love like the enthusiasm. Studying you, <laughs> no, I, I just I love your enthusiasm. Thank I really you. Do. I, I my philosophy in life is just like be who you are, and don't care what anyone thinks. I'm like, and my husband That's and I, great. we just we we are who we are, and. And I just love it. Good. And we have a fun life. We have a very That's fun awesome. life. <laughs> well, you guys, thank you for letting us come chat with you. AJ, yeah. Mr. Mike. You're very welcome. And thank all you. these comrades that were thoroughly nice entertained. Job. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Have Thanks, a great day. Thanks, everybody. Take care. <laughs>